Okay, so yeah, so one of the um, the issues which is coming up on Facebook an awful lot, and we're getting direct messages from viewers as well about this, is is the whole thing of hand catching, hand launching, which again, is, of course, with the smaller drones can be very useful in terms of landing space. You don't have to have a landing pad out on the grass or anything, but specifically surrounding whether or not you're able to hand launch on private land, perhaps land that either you haven't gained the clearance on or land that you know for a fact doesn't want you taking off on. And it, 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 it to me seems like a fairly straightforward argument because of course people are saying, I'm taking off from my hand, so I'm not taking off from the land. But it isn't really as simple as that, is it? No, I mean, you're right there in terms of there's obviously the, the now that the sub 250 drones don't really have that much in the way of distance offenses and things like that. So, you know, you can fly those pretty much anywhere. Those are different kettle of fish, if you like, to open category and specific category flights. So the general principle principle is that by taking off from your hand or you know hand launching or whatever you want to call it that you're still accessing that land to do the flight from it doesn't change how you're accessing the land it just changes almost your sort of takeoff point and you know i would view it in the sense of if you're holding it your legs are essentially an extension of the landing gear then wherever they touch the ground that's what yes you deal with and and we i would also refer to numerous um uh, sort of police cases and things where they've been dealing with operators that I can cite that I'm aware of uh, where they've taken the same view that you know you, no matter what you're doing you're still launching it from that piece of land that yes. you're standing on exactly just because you're not holding it doesn't you know, you'll then where, where do we draw the line it's, it's the same principle of if you put a case or a box or whatever it doesn't matter you, it's where, where are you using the land yes uh, from in that respect there, there's different Obviously, Scotland is slightly different because the rules are different up there in terms of public rights of way and, and the ability to do things. But again, the general principle as well, the public right of way thing is for walking. It's for access to the land. It doesn't say you can conduct commercial activities yes. or anything from the yes, land. Yes, so indeed. It, it's all combined within that one argument. Yeah, exactly. And and it's it's one of those cases where um, it, it, it sounds right in your head. Of course, you're, you're taking off from your from your hand, so you know. Therefore, I'm not taking off from the land. But of course, as you're saying, you stood on the land, so your your entire operation is is something that that that, that, that landowner can object to. Because of course, it doesn't matter what they're doing. If if somebody wants to sunbathe and they put a deck chair out and they and they and they sit on someone's land and they're sunbathing, the landowner can come across and say, "Hey, don't sunbathe here, please." Um, and yeah. they and they would then have to leave. So it isn't necessarily and this isn't an air navigation issue. This isn't a, a code drone issue because of course, under the CAA guidelines, all they ask for is that you look for stated signs that that, that, that you keep yeah. an eye out in parks and that type of thing for signs. You know, but they're they're, yeah. they're they're not even necessarily saying you need to go and do hours of research to find out who owns the land and get their written permission and blah 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 um it, it is so from an air navigation point of view from from the air rules point of view this isn't effective but of course we are talking about the landowners rights which are which are absolute in terms of use to be clear to the viewers we're talking about hand launching from from any land really um, um it, the, the, whether or not you're launching from your hand from the roof of your car from a landing pad if, if you have the controller in your hand and you're operating that is the point of takeoff essentially um so um, um you know if, if someone asks you to move on you're, you're going to have to move on and and of course it also means that if you are already aware before you go there that that, that landowner be it national trust or someone like that is 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 certainly against you taking off there using the hand launch reason uh, or excuse isn't going to get you very far basically because um yeah it, it, you, you you are you are at worst going to be asked to be moved on basically because again most of these situations that is all that really happens the 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 landowner or the agent of the landowner will approach and say hey we don't allow drone flying here please stop and go away um, and then you do of course so we're not talking about a massive issue here but this is something which gets repeated a lot on the uh, on facebook and on social media and it is something we're asked about an awful lot so i thought it was worthwhile spending a couple of minutes clarifying the advice of people out there uh, the key thing for the hand launch is the hand launch can reduce your sort of risk of a hazard in some circumstances it could be because you're on a boat or it could be because you know you want to keep there's gps interference on the ground if you're on like a metal pontoon or something yes there are legitimate reasons for using hand launch but aside from sub 250 drones i don't view them as a way to get around any rules or anything i view them as a way to reduce the risk of a hazard occurring so the hand hand catch hand launch thing can be very useful as you say from the on the, the sub 250 route but 
um, yeah, it, it doesn't get you around any landowner rules or regulations that, that, that you need to follow. And that's really the idea behind this video. So hopefully that helps everybody at home. Yeah.